here we have a, let's see here, some Mickey fans that I tied up. You know, the modern Mickey fan, what I call bass track, <laughs> means about the same thing. And, uh, you know, and in these, these are designed to be casted, they're designed to be trolled, they're designed to fit in a lot of sort of modern gear, as well as be used on a fly rod, as well as conventional gear. Uh, spinning tackle and, and uh, whatnot. Now the thing that makes these things work is that they all have a Dodger disc on them. Uh, and here's what I let me show you what I mean. The Dodger disc, if you've done much bass fishing, you see a lot of crank baits that have a lip on them that make them wiggle about in the water. This does exactly the same thing except you're bringing it to uh, fly fishing and it's a custom designed lure. You've got the beads here, you've got the trailing hook here. You got a bigger hook, trailer hook, a lot of flash. The eyes, you may not be able to hear that, but the eyes give it a sort of a wiggle. I mean, give it a rattle. And this dodger disc makes it dodge about, up and down and dodge about. Do all kinds of things with it. And I've had very good luck uh, with that. Oops, oh, it always gets you in the hand there. And you, I've done shad patterns with these. And I'm about to start uh, painting these up because uh, I've made them up and I need to paint them. Here here have a sort of a, you know, this is what I call a shad, you know, the bleeding, uh, the silver bleeder, you know, it's a silver, silvery, sort of grayish, silvery shad with a bleeding tuff of essentially Congo hair here. Uh, the trailing hook always uh, rides up, and I've caught a lot of fish on that trailing hook like that. Same Dodger disc is made from terracotta, but the thing is, is I can paint these, is which I'm about to do with my uh, airbrush here. But the whole point is that uh, the Dodger discs make some hit. That erratic motion in the water, the Dodger disc makes some hit. And I've caught bass with these, I've caught crappie with these. And I'm continually amazed at how much uh, fish, many varieties of species of fish that I do catch with them. And, uh, and I'm just basing these all on local lures. And so if you're interested in a lure like this, check out either some more videos on the YouTube channel or check out the Etsy page. Uh, and I'll have the link, you know, down there in the Etsy page to see what I have. Also have some. Um, I also make tackle. Uh, these are some bobbers that I use. And it's what I call the brim bobber. And I, I, you know, I found that in brim fishing, a lot of your big floats, the round things, they, you know, you you try to catch fish with them, but the brim take it and they feel that resistance and they just get rid of it. And one of the things I've no noticed about our European uh, brethren, the fishermen across the pond, I'm here in the United States, is that they use these long, narrow waggle floats. And so I've taken the waggle float concept and just made it uh, and, and incorporated a slip bobber style. So you run the thread through here, all the way down through here. And you can adjust your depth based on the, the slip bobber. And this is a good length. It's 12 inches, good for brim. That's also on the Etsy page. Now I'm working on some catfish versions like this for now. These are 18 inches, and this is just made out of a, what is it, like half inch piece of uh, hard wood. And this is, uh, got these from the Wally World. It says, uh, I believe they're more like poplar. They look like, they got that kind of greenish, grayish tint like poplar has. And uh, we're going to get ready to epoxy and paint these up as well. And so, uh, but anyway, if you're interested in these, check out the Etsy page. If you want to know more about what we're doing, check out uh, BlackWarriorLures.com. And uh, and the links are down there, okay, and uh, and I will check you guys later.